Power drive. Oh, uh, what was that, Billy? Say that again. I said, how is everyone? Okay. We're good. We're good. We just, uh, we're just back. Okay. Uh, let, let me tell the people we're back. Actually, when you call... The ladder, please. Actually, when you call... Oh, that damn Verizon uh, company, man. I wish they would give you... I can't be Verizon, though, Jimmy. This is the only time it's bad. Well, maybe it's because you're on speaker. Well, I said, I'm not on speaker. You must be, because I'm on not. Yeah, you're on, you're not on speaker. Well... No, that, so it's, uh, it's gotta that's be over the, your head. Yeah, that's the only that's the only out. that's the only way we could we could broadcast you. Um, uh, where's your? Uh, yes, we're back. We're back, and we are here with our commercial voiceover artist William H. Morrow the third. Where's your location this time, William? Oh, I'm still home. I'm having plumbing problems. That's why I'm staying good right now. Oh, uh, okay. You're yeah. still you're still home in New Jersey. Um, I am. Okay. In this case, for obvious reasons. Um, now you, um, I know you have something special to say about the foundation of our organization, the newsletter. Well, the best way to join your organization, as you put it, is to go to www.newslettercensored.com and get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. We are living in end times, so you need newsletter censors, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you are loud and clear, William. Um... Now, um, what is going on with you? And I mean, what what would you like to talk about this week? My God, there's so much going on in Syria, the crisis in Syria, and the uh, the walk. What I liked a lot was the nationwide strike of the fast food workers this week. McDonald's. Well, McDonald's was only one. It was. Uh, Purchase chicken, Burger King, I forget how many chains. It was really? It McDonald's, so it was chain, multi-chain wide, let's put it that way. Wow. I didn't know this, I didn't know this. This is, this oh, is... not just McDonald's, no. So, so it, it, you know, that means there are many victims of, uh, of, of uh, poverty wages with fast food, and it must have caused a chain reaction after the McDonald's walkout. Well, I've, I've got to correct you. You said poverty wages. This is actually below poverty. Poverty is twenty-three thousand dollars a year, but they're getting paid, being not being hired as full-time workers. They're averaging eighteen plus thousand dollars a year. Wow, twenty-three below poverty wages. So the government now considers up to twenty twenty-three thousand dollars a year as being a the uh, poverty level. A poverty below level. You're below poverty level. Wow. Pretty good, isn't it? I mean, that's really, I'm that, being facetious. That's that, really great, though, isn't it? Yeah, that, that shows you how how little the U.S. dollar is actually worth. Well, the, the U.S. dollar is still worth an awful lot. Uh, Not really. But, uh, people aren't willing to give up their dollars to take care of their people. <laughs> that's uh, the problem. Pay your people. Uh, the U.S. dollar stop is... Trying appease, stop trying to appease your stockholders. They just Lower keep... your profit margins a little bit. You're making billions... Instead of making ten billion, okay, you make eight billion or nine billion or whatever. But pay well, your people well. Well, like uh, like I read before, they tripled the salary of the McDonald's CEO. To it's like he's making fourteen point eight million dollars now. Yeah, he needs that because I'm sure he works really hard. <laughs> Again, I'm being facetious. Uh, I really doubt the amount of work and I underline work that he puts into the organization. Quote unquote, yeah. Itself. Really, come on, was he menu planning and everything else? I don't think so. So, what did he really do to earn that 14.8, 14, 14 or even 10 billion a year? Yeah, they tripled it. They tripled the salary. Why? And and they're and they're bitching and moaning about paying fifteen dollars an hour to the McDonald's employees, which they should get. It's only fifteen but, fifteen dollars an hour. Is not. Well, this hurts the economy too. If you're only getting seven twenty five an hour, how much? Disposable income do you have, if any, doubtful? So how yeah. much money can you put back into stimulating the economy? Basically none. So you're it's right. Not helping. It's, it's if anything, it's hurting the economy too. You said something very important because the consumer, the true consumer, is not the aristocratic elitist. It's not the rich. It's it's the mainstream. They're the original consumers. The the backbone. 
that st stimulates the economy. And, and if they don't have the surplus cash to put back into the economy, it hurts everything. Well, how, how can you possibly have surplus cash at seven twenty-five an hour? How can you possibly have surplus cash at seven twenty-five an hour if you're a sole single individual? A lot of these people you know. have children. Uh, I mean, yeah. so what's that cut that dollar value down to? It's it, 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 it's nothing. I mean, a, 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 a couple that has children, if if the husband and wife both work a, a minimum wage job, they're still below poverty, in my opinion. Or let's just say both both people work, which you don't get anymore. A forty-hour work week at a fast food chain. No, they they want to make you part time. Hour. Yeah, part time. So, right now. Well, let's just say it's full time. Let's just say forty hours. Uh, Twenty-five an hour, you know, times forty hours, give or take two hundred ninety dollars because they're married. I said both. It's five hundred eighty dollars for a month. I mean, a week. Yeah, uh, uh, gross. That's really not. Uh, well, and the no, rent is yeah, fourteen or fifteen hundred right. bucks in the apartment. Is really what you bring home. Yeah, and the rent and the rent's over a thousand dollars. Um, on average, on average, you, know, you got electricity, what have you? Uh, really? Come on. That's if you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's if you're just two people. Now you're a man and a wife. What if you have children? Now what? That's even cutting the dollar even less than the yeah. income value. Well, I, the, I'm all for what they did. I just think it's great. I'm hoping. I, th I hope it succeeds, and I hope retailers, uh, retail employees, uh, form go on strike too and form unions. I really hope they do. People need to make a, as it's called, a livable wage. Yes. That's what they need. Yeah. To be able to live, not just, not even get by. I can't use the phrase "get by," but what they're living on now is deciding whether to pay the electric bill or this other bill, or this bill. They can't pay all their bills. And, on top of that, you don't, uh, you don't get uh, health care insurance. So there are a few chains, I don't know who they are exactly, very few that do get benefits. But it's very few. And, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, they all they're doing is existing. Yeah, they're getting, this is not living. It's existing. I mean, you're, you're existing under incredibly stressful situations. Yes. Uh, it's, it's sad. This is not the American dream that we like to tell everyone. Do you think that's why so many people in our area are in such a bad mood and they're antisocial because of the stress factor? Well, I think because of the stress factor, not because of the minimum wage, but I think the stress in this area is very high, yes. Uh, the traffic, rushing around, the rents, your dollar does not go far in, in our area. Yeah. Uh, that really does give stress. We are a very highly stressed region of the of the, uh, the country. Yeah. Uh, and and, and I bet stressed. the medical profession just love all this extra stress, so they could they could they could uh, prescribe all these drugs. Uh, prescribe drugs and prescribe 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 drugs and uh, plus there are fees. You wonder where they how they arrive at these fees that they charge. I, we were discussing that this morning, a bunch of us, and how do they arrive at these? Right. Places? Look at the hospitals. Look at the astronomic fees that hospitals charge. Well, a lot of that is just governmental rip-off. Look what they charge you on your bill for an aspirin. Uh, Why is it governmental rip-off? When head in your door, doesn't even really walk into your room, and says, how are you today, Mrs. Smith? Uh, you got a bill for 200 some odd dollars. Now that is, to me, that's federal fraud. No, you know what that is? That's a greedy CEO that runs the hospital. That's him. Well, that's not the, it's the government, too. It's their fault for letting it go. Why don't they say, hey, that's enough? Deregulation. Stop yeah, I hear you now. Right now. Yeah. It's deregulation. Now. You, can't, you cannot tell me an aspirin cost me $10. Come on. No, Plus no. Plus they buy in bulk, which cuts the price of an aspirin, per se. Down to probably a penny, pennies, or percentage of a cent. It's highway robbery. By such bulk. You know, really, this is ridiculous. 
Yeah, it's high. It's highway robbery. For them to rip off and make more money. You and hit the insurance companies. You hit the nail on the head. Wrong. You hit the nail on the head. Um, they just that's wrong. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't understand why nobody really questions this. How can an aspirin per se cost so much? Well, I don't get it. People, people do talk about it, but the politicians just keep on deregulating uh, these businesses, and uh, they just keep on ripping us off. I mean, uh, you know, you know, the U.S. dollar really is worth less than than you think, Bill. It is. <laughs> McDonald's and fast food chain walk out. Right. They're showing that people are getting fed up. We had about, you know, you know really, you felt, you felt that upper hand on people or the dark cloud, whatever you want to call it, for so long. Right. Everyone's tired of it. They're tired of being held down with no chance of a future per se. It's getting by daily, weekly, monthly, who knows. Really, they're tired. How much can the people take? They, there's no ex there's no hope for the future. They can't save money for anything nice or positive. Yep. How could you save money if there's no surplus cash ever? Which is why you're seeing more and more rental companies like uh, what was the name? Where you my age, I grew up and saw where you either had the money in full to buy an appliance, a TV, what have you, or you didn't get it. In recent oh, decade or two, you can make payments because people cannot afford to go out and spend four or five hundred dollars for a TV, refrigerator, or whatever. Right. Uh, they just can't do it, but they can do it on payments. But even that, they're still milking them dry. But at least they can get they can make some payments and have some comforts, some little enjoyment of life. That's what it's come to. Yeah. You know, with the the Republicans, they want they, they want to do away with Social Security, and they expect you to have some kind of like IRA retirement account, but you need surplus cash to put into an IRA. Well, I would like to know what he's both sides of government want. What do you really want? Why don't you care about the people? You talk lip service that you do, but why do you just stop everything? It's rigged. It's rigged. It's they, come to the point where why bother anymore? Okay. Let me I know I say it every week. It's rigged. It's they want to kill off the the poor and the homeless. They 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 want to enslave the population. It's it's a worldwide conspi Why? conspiracy. For what end? Greed. Well, with, greed for what? What do they need? What do they need? More food. They have plenty to eat. They have plenty of cars. They have free labor. Free shelter. Free labor. Free labor. Because it's an obsession. It's a wicked obsession. They want free labor. They want slavery back. Why? Does it help them any? I mean, let me ask you a question. You ever wonder why we have all these privatized prisons now, Billy? Yeah, because the other one say it was milking the uh, government dry. They could they said they claim they couldn't afford to upkeep them. So these private companies came in and said, We'll do it. Yeah, and, and they're also they're also putting all the inmates to work. That that's free slave labor. Well, they're all we also have more inmates than any other nation on the, on the planet. So That's I true. That, I wonder, too. The so, United uh, States. Yeah. We need all these jails and prisons, what have you. Uh, we need more, because we're releasing people, the more minor offenders, because we just don't have room, which is what's leading to why they're making marijuana or whatever, a punishable or, or, or jailable offense or whatever, because we're going to put you for a little thing like a little yeah. grass. Well, it's only... On, like, Let's cut it, you know, really. Yeah, possession of grass is, is really not a crime, per se. It's kind of frivolous, you know? It's been for decades. It's been yeah. so stupid. Yeah. I mean, I remember in the 70s when they would arrest you, they pulled you over and found a seed in your car. I mean, this is really ridiculous. A seed. It's as dumb as the three strikes and you're out. You know, that that's almost as stupid as prohibition was back in the day. Yeah. That was that was a carry nation. Yeah, well, they and all them uh, using their hats or axes to smash all the barrels of booze. But it still got through with the speakeasies and underground, didn't it? Yeah. Yes. You yeah. They, there was the the rum runners. Yep. They uh. Why? Well, Why? well. Well. These. You this. Kind of show the people want it. These are these are religious.
puritanical right-wing religious nuts. They're fanatics. The, they're fanatics, right. Well, prostitution. See, Look at prostitution. To them, you wear long skirts, you show no skin, you don't have sex, you don't swear, you don't smoke, you don't drink. What do you do? You're boring as can be. Yeah, did, did you know... Eating shit. Eating shit. They, did, you, did you know that, yeah, all you do is eating shit. Or, uh, did you know they measured, back in the day, if a woman was on the beach, there was there were these law enforcement people that went around... Above, above the knee type crap? Yeah, right. That's ridiculous. They would they measure... Today. It's still going on today. Or Miley would be in jail. Miley would be in jail. Miley Cyrus would be in prison right now if that was back then. Uh, well, either in prison or death row, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It's I mean, insane. Like, prostitution is a victimless crime, in my opinion. It, it, the woman's body, it's her body. Prostitution is not hurting anyone. If you're willing to pay for it, so be it. You know, really, who are you hurting? You know, I mean, what a, whatever That's happened crazy. to the word, whatever happened to the word boycott, Billy? I mean, Americans just can't do without anything. Uh, people talk, but they're, I don't have time. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, well, at least this time, they had time. This walkout for the got fast food chains. Right. I hope they succeed. You know what? This is a very important subject that you brought up. I really hope they do succeed, and I hope it grows bigger than the Occupy movement. That fizzled out really soon. Yeah. That, that, what did that accomplish? I mean, they really did not have much of a goal. I don't, I don't know why they were occupying in the first place, per se. Most people did not either. Well, what, what's their goal? They had they had no, no solid leaders. Right. And how many people, as we discussed a few weeks back, when they were interviewed on the news, why are you occupying? Why are you here? Hey, the food's free, man. <laughs> You know, all these hippies I were hanging out parties. No reason to be occupied. It, you know what it was? It, it was an excuse to party and hang out at the park. And how many women were raped mm. in those occupied tent camps? What have you? The whole, it was just a bunch of not all, but a lot of losers. Not right. Well, not the term, but a lot of losers had nothing better to do, so they joined in. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of burnt out hi uh, modern day hippies were there. It was a. It was a joke. Now, this now, walkout is no, it's not is that serious and deserving. This has a statement. They right. want to live. They need a workable wage to pay a rent or a mortgage, right. support their families or whatever. This makes sense. Yeah. Occupy Wall Street and whatever across the nation at the time. None of that made sense. Yeah. Now, now, hold on, Rev Reverend Bill. They, uh, it, you think that was a big problem that the Occupy movement did not have any significant leaders? National leaders? I don't think so. I think they... Uh, they got, they were pussies, pretty much, right? No. They had a message. They were... Did, did, did you ever see one actual spokesperson for the occupiers? No. It was all multiple voices who was being interviewed for the day. No one said... You never saw the title, lead occupier or president of occupiers. Well, yes, who but was, they were corrupt. the leader of all this? You have to have a leader that's going to go in front of the camera and tell people... This is what we believe in. This is what we're fighting and occupying for. And you never saw that one. It was a big, massive joke. Yeah, there was... A, and there were a lot of great messages on the signs. Believe me, I read them. There were a lot of great uh, messages. But, but there was too many friggin' punk-ass, hippie college kids that just wanted to camp out and have fun holding up a and sign. Free, and free no? food. They were co-opted. You know, the food is free. But this, this By the police, the et cetera. Where they, they, they weren't enough. They were terrorists. They do have a goal. They do have a need. You, you put it, enough it, people it, out it there that are angry. They weren't out it's there. It didn't matter. I'm all for this one. Hey, you know what? It, you know what, well, How come in other countries a lot of the protesting during the Occupy movement was not was not uh, announced by the American media. There, there were like massive amounts of people mm -hmm. in other countries who were protesting and ready to kick ass, and that they weren't televised. Yeah, but it's kind of funny to you look at some of the Occupy and just look at them. 
Well, the I Occupy Americans are... Everything. They're anti-anything and everything. They have nothing what they really want, but they hate you. It's like the anti-war movement. People hate the well because it, it's it's all about profit they they know it. it it it's all corrupt it's all rigged the system is rigged billy it, it it's it, the, the whole capitalist system is rigged it's all about greed you know But they Credit shouldn't. Cards, what have you? They prefer cash. All right. They give a lot off. But the small business owner should not have the tax burden. The middle class should never have the tax burden. The fat cats should be having the tax burden. Well, I think it should be across the board, possibly. I'm, I'm, uh, I believe in uh, a flat percentage. Across oh the boy, board. that's maybe, maybe rated a little more percentage for the wealthier. Uh, yeah, but why? Why? Why should we be? Go to our lottery system. We're the only democratic nation that taxes. <laughs> Oh my! Yeah, but why should we? Why should we be nice to to the very rich? Why can't they pay? Why can't they pay the uh, the the tax burden like they did before Ronald Reagan? They should. I don't know why they're not. The flat tax is not going to work. What do you mean you don't know why they're not? Because the laws benefit them not doing it. Because they they can't. I don't know what the answer is, or if anybody. Well, oh, there's an answer. It's called regulation. The campaign, yeah. the campaign contributions pay off the politicians in Washington. Yeah, who's regulating what anymore? You just wonder. It just doesn't make sense. Flat taxes. There are too many people down, and it's just sad and it's wrong. Yeah, I know. But you know, it's just, just being too nice to the rich to, to uh, start a flat yeah. tax. It's just being too easy on them. You know. All but right, it, fellas. Okay, chief. My time is up. Yes, and uh, very nice having you this Thanks, week. Guys. Thank you, fellas. For progressive very discussions. Nice. I'll talk. To, be, to be continued, as always. To be continued. All right, guys. All right. Have a good rest of your show. Thank you. All and right, everyone. I'll, and I'll talk Take to care. you. Bye bye. Got it. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, he, he came over loud and clear this time. It was very good volume. But yeah, no, the flat tax is is a is a sneak. benefits the rich. Benefits the rich, and and but it's presented to be. It's presented nice. as fair fair because you get rid of the IRS which they would love you know and uh, our tax system was set up as being progressive the more money you make the more taxes you pay sounds fair to me all of a sudden after the 80s the tax burden on the rich went down to like 35 percent was down to 28 percent one point once upon a time 35 percent instead of 94 percent and they still complain that they're overtaxed and now it's 39.6 percent as it was under clinton which gave us a surplus yeah no well, deficit well, company and they still complain Co Companies like General Electric don't even pay. Don't pay anything. Don't even pay 35 percent. They paid nothing. The inside of a bagel. That's what they paid. I mean, you know, uh, and 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 they still bitch. They That's have it in for the for the po folk, man, for the poor. They have it in for them. They have the poor in their sights. They just, they, the greed. It's like a sickness, it just doesn't end. It goes on and on and on. As Edward Kennedy said, when does the greed stop? Only he said it more emphatically. It doesn't. Exactly. It and doesn't. Remember, remember the old uh, the old layman's uh, proverb or whatever, you know, you give give, a, give somebody a hand and then they want the whole arm and they, they want more and more and more. You know, like somebody gave a homeless man a five dollar bill and he says, he says, oh, you couldn't give me a twenty dollar bill? Why did you attack the homeless? Because this is what a homeless guy actually told somebody. Well, you know, could that person who gave him the five afford more? I don't know. 
Because you know what? You know he should have been he should have been so, uh, satisfied and shut his fucking mouth and took no, the five dollar bill. No, he should not have. Why should why should a, a stranger give him the a twenty dollar bill? According to the you know Bible, what? I won't give rights. you. Well, the person could have says I won't give you five bucks. That's fine. I'll but give you, you two are bucks. now attacking the poor. But you don't you don't the be Bible you, says, you don't be an ingrate. When the somebody Bible does says, something nice, you you appreciate it. The Bible says no, 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 no. That you should go out and work so that you can give to them. People should not look a gift horse in the mouth. I just said, if he knew that the other guy could afford more, it's like a big company. I don't know what he's. It's like. Oh, oh, it's September, right? Yeah. It's September? Oh, when is the muscular dystrophy thing? Oh, that, that ridiculous... Uh, I don't I don't follow these charities anymore. Well, when, when is it? Tomorrow? They're all fixed. It's tomorrow, maybe? All right? Now, you're going to see there... You're going to see... All kinds of corporations getting the credits for giving uh, millions of dollars to the muscular dystrophy fund when it is their people that gave the money, not them. And also, there's such a tiny percentage on the dollar that actually goes to the charitable cause. You have, you have these mysterious administrative fees. The they, all got, they, all, they, all, they all have these... Uh, the point is... Everybody, you know, all of the charities... When you this. have, you don't give when you want to. You must give. If a homeless guy receives a ten dollar bill, okay, give it out. Okay, it. let me tell you something. This is ten dollars more than he had a minute ago. He should he should be happy. Somebody gave him a ten. Can he pay his rent? And not bellyache. Well, hopefully he'll get enough of these tens to get himself uh, a, 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 a he probably won't. some food. I don't won't. know. I don't know. Well, then my point being, he shouldn't be homeless to begin with. Well, that's true. In a, in a fair democracy. In a fair anything. Uncorrupted. You know. Right, or even in, well, under socialism, he wouldn't be homeless. Right? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. But the you point know. is, he, these people shouldn't be homeless, especially the veterans. They should not be living in tents. They put their lives on the line so the fat cats can get more oil. And uh, and these people are living in, in the woods, in tents. Come on. It's despicable. They were suckered. Caviar emptor. That's what they'll tell you. Well, they were suckered into the military because they were... They, 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 they weren't told one little fact. That uh, while they were getting free education and training and and health care and all that in the military, they also were not reminded that you have to do the dirty work of, uh, of the United States government. They also, under Mr. Rumsfeld, did not have enough bullets, did not have enough uh, vests, bulletproof vests, did Pri not have the best equipment. Privatization. You know how many IEDs were exploding before they got some sort of handle on this situation? The IEDs Quite uh, a bit. outnumbered the actual supplies that the troops needed because it was privatized by the Republicans. Everything has to be privatized. The Humvees were not 